All right, guys. Today is a very exciting unboxing. I've actually had this for a few days now and I just haven't been in the mood to film, but today I had a spurt and we're gonna open this. This is the festival edition of Lana Del Rey's album on vinyl and I am so excited to add this to the collection. Okay, let's hope that this tear tab works. Also, as I'm filming this, whew, tomorrow, is record store day 420 let me know if you guys are picking anything up because i'm curious <gasps> the cover is so so stunning did you know that there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard by lana del rey this is the festival edition so it's got this beautiful kind of like trippy uh, highlighter color like Y2K going on, doodle, vibe, filter effect, I don't really know. Track list is actually featured on the front, which is super cool. And then on the back, I think it's, it's enough that I can show it, but this is the back, and then you have the tracks again. It doesn't say festival edition on it because obviously the whole album artwork is different than the regular releases and I don't believe that I had gotten this album yet or did I get this album? I don't think I have this one so I wanted to get this edition because I thought that it was super fun that she was performing at Coachella. I've never wanted to be at Coachella so bad until I saw the lineup this year. It was absolutely insane. I loved Lana Del Rey's set. I loved what she did with Billie Eilish. I loved her on the motorcycles. Her outfit, the blue, is so beautiful on her. I think that she was absolutely glowing. And um, I loved Doja Cat's set as well. Really, really good performers this year. I'm also so thankful that they dropped it online too for anybody that did go to Coachella because can you imagine if this was at her merch booth or whatever carrying this around Coachella like actual yikes like I could never do that so um I love that they did this so that way people that couldn't go to Coachella were able to get it because that's awesome. And two, for people that were going to Coachella that they could guarantee that it was safe and they weren't going to carry it around and get it damaged. This is the ninth studio album. Holy smokes. Let's see what's on the inside. Ooh, very Coachella-esque. Let's see what we got going on in here. This is the first one. Look at that. I love the pink. These almost look like um, some of the stuff that she used at her set, which is so crazy because this came out before her set oh my gosh this is so funny because it is just like this photoshopped overlay of random people well I'm sure they're not random but you know what I mean and it is this a beautiful orange high C color absolutely stunning so gorgeous her face on the label is also super super nice I love it. It is stunning. All of the bright orange hues in the cover, which I love. You guys also always love my Lana Del Rey unboxings because I usually will unbox like a special edition or a different pressing and I have been having so many people watch my Norman Rockwell one and commenting about how expensive that vinyl is now, which is absolutely crazy and I'm so happy that I got it because I genuinely loved the cover of that album. Look at this. This is very, this kind of feels like home. Um, there's a lot of like factories that you could generally like go down a road and you'll run into a factory and they have like this electrical plant thing outside every single one of them and I just love the filter this also makes me think about Fallout 76 I've been talking a lot about that recently with the new show and um, I would always like end up going to these places and like collecting stuff I don't know this one is the same it's orange same label but it's beautiful so nothing on here that actually says like exclusive festival edition or anything, which is kind of upsetting. I wish they had said that, but again, 
Um, this, like, artwork is what makes this the festival edition. She has been doing a lot of variants. I feel like a lot of artists are getting into the variants. And I know Billie Eilish, like, did an article and she talked about vinyl variants. And I think it's something that we really do need to consider. Uh, especially as somebody who would try to collect all the variants of stuff. And, like, now I'm just like, oh my god, I paid, you know... $25, $30 for this variant, and now like on the secondhand market, it's only worth like 10 bucks. And usually vinyl is a great investment. It's a great art form. It sounds great, but I do think it gets clogged with variants. Um, so I'm way more selective with my variants. I do love the ability to pick and have options. So I do like seeing six or seven pressings and me being like, well, this is like the one that I want and somebody saying like, well, I like this one, you know, like I love the diversity and just the ability to pick from whichever is easiest for you, whether that's in a retail location, whether that's at an indie record store, whether that's online, like, I just think they're way more accessible, which makes the hobby a lot easier for some people in this generation. And I also hate, I hate a boring variant. Like, sidetrack, but did anybody see, like, all the Charlie XCX stuff? Like, what was that? What is that? Like, that, that, I think, is the worst variant drop I have ever seen. Uh, that was my quick little unboxing and talking with you guys uh, about the music industry right now. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys saw Lana Del Rey's Coachella set. Were you there? Um, and just, what, what did you guys think? Because I think it was stunning. I loved the props. I loved the stage presence. I loved the outfits. I loved the motorcycles. I loved absolutely everything. She did not disappoint. I think that she did a wonderful job. And I'm so happy that I got to experience it. I still experience it without actually being there. And to have some memento like this, I think, is super fun. So, I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.